G'day folks. Geez, I don't know, I'm starting to stick my head in front of this camera now and feel real comfortable, so mm, you might have to uh, put up with it. <laughs> yeah, we've had a bit of rain. It's uh, 30, no, hang on, not 30 mil, 27 mil, so a good inch and then a little bit more. So yeah, very good rain. It's been dry up until this winter and uh, this bit of rain now is welcoming so I hope we get a little bit more as we go on later into the winter towards the end and early spring so we set ourselves up for a nice summer not too dry and uh, yeah all right folks I'll turn the camera around and I'll show you what I've been up to well I've been busy oh dear here it is guys that's the mock-up of the top arm. Uh, we've got a three-quarter inch rose joint. We have a jam nut, they call that. And this is a, uh, what do they call that? Oh, there was a name for it, it's dropped out of my head. Uh, tube adapter. So it steps down and there's, there's about that much of it into the tube and it's all threaded. So you've got Oh, you've probably got about 30, a good 30 mil of adjustment. So if you set it up sort of into this, well, it's not quite in the center, but if you set it up, you, yeah, a good inch either side, confidently, you know, without, um, you know, having, having too much sticking out. Uh, I got this from VPW in uh, Melbourne. They're a great business, you know. Victorian Performance Wholesale. I've bought a lot of stuff off them. This was air freight, so I only ordered it yesterday. It's turned up. Went to my local steel supplier. We've got a beautiful, uh, I would be guessing that tube is around 3 mil thick, so it's quite thick. So we've got a good, thick, solid bit of tube. And uh, I've cut, I've actually cut the original part of it off. So this will bolt to the diff because it's already got a bushing off the diff uh, little bracket that's on a little tongue that's on the on the diff so there's already a bushing so this will go onto the bushing and then I've got a nice I reckon around oh well what do you reckon there three mil plate so I'll, I'll TIG that all around nice and solid inside and out so we get a good fixing and then we TIG all this once I've got it sort of worked out and I'll sort of want it in that same plain as the bolt hole. You wouldn't want to be pulling it slightly offset. So keep it all in line and I may, I don't know if I'm, I may make up a little gusset, just a little light gusset that goes right around so it attaches to that and come around and, and attach to this as well for a little bit of extra strength. Then I've cut these a little bit longer so they're about 30-40mm too long but I'll do them later and I've only just sort of sat it there for the camera but that gives you an idea of what uh, the idea what I was running now I'll show you I've got it, I've got it sitting in the, the other end I've got the other one and I've got it sitting in the car and this is sort of the idea as you can see it's it's actually sitting a little bit high there guys but it'll probably protrude uh, out that far too and uh, if you can see up in there, yeah, it's sitting a little bit high. So what I'll do is I'll cut a little bit more out out of this section, and it'll probably drop down maybe 25, 30 millimeters. Then I'll make some nice bracketry up, to come out and mount it, and I can weld it right around and get a nice solid uh, points for the bolt to slide through. And then I've got some smaller tube and I can cut it to length and that'll pack depending on where I want the, uh, the this part here positioned and I can sort of trim it to there and, and um, yeah that'll lock it in got a bit of adjustability but first off the next job before I get too carried away with it I need to set the pinion angle up on the diff I'll do a vid on that and show you guys how I'll do it anyway and correct it all before because I have to lift it fairly well and I may lose another probably 10-20 mil that way so 
Yeah, but that's what it calls for, guys. Uh, it's awesome, though. I'm really pleased with these these uh, components. Nice bit of quality. Yeah. So that's a tube adapter. This is three quarter. You've got your jam nut, they call it, and a three quarter inch rose joint, and a nice solid bolt. It looks a bit, it's up to me, I thought it was a bit overrated, but at the end of the day, you're better off going a little bit more solid than under, under because if you tear these things out, uh, oh goodness me, you've got all sorts of problems. So I've gone fairly thick with the tube. Oh, yeah, looking at that, there's a bit of burr there. That's probably a solid, yeah, I'd say two mil, two to two and a half mil solid, but it's, it's quite thick. So it should be plenty strong enough, guys. And, uh, oh God, I'm excited because this hopefully will eradicate that problem that I've had for, for 20 plus years. Because the trouble is with them nine inch diffs, they're so much physically bigger. So it's made the, the mounting point at the back, it's lifted it up, oh, I'd be guessing, probably 25, 30 mil again. So it's just accelerated the arms on that horrible angle. And so here you have to lift it from the standard mounting point which is down there up to about here to get it level again. So I've got that top arm nice and level and then when the suspension moves up and down the diff doesn't want to go like that. And that's the trouble I've been having. So, Alright folks, well it's just a little update. Let you all know what I'm up to. And uh, yes, very excited about it all. And you know what it is folks, nutting it out once you get that nutted out, uh, becomes easy. To me, it was the design of it. I had three or four different ideas in my head, and and this one just sort of kept popping up. And in the end of the day, it was the one I wanted to do. So I stuck with it, and uh, I've got it all sorted out now, guys. So, yes. I'll put another vid up soon, guys. Um, when I get further progressed with it. Oh, by the way, before I go too, I've started on my trailer. I've been going crazy, getting right into it, so, but I'll do a little update on that when I move forward a bit more on it, so, it's all happening. Okay, folks, Modfather signing out.